Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Thursday, February 11th, 2021. All right, let's get started. All right, it looks like we've got some gray squares in the grid here. Looks like there's three six letter blocks and then one eight letter block at the bottom here. All right, and they're all pretty long answers. Okay, let's get started. One across, Spider-Man villain, blank Octavius. I used to read Spider-Man comics back in the day, actually. I was reading them around when um, Spider-Man got cloned, if anybody remembers that. It was in the 90s. All right, so that's, I do know that. That's Otto Octavius. Razor handle, and this is a wordplay clue. Hmm. What kind of razor? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe handle is um, a name, not like the physical handle of a razor, but the name of a razor. Hmm. I can't think of a razor that starts with an O though, like a brand of razor. Hmm. Meet cute in a romance film, e.g. Hmm. I... Maybe it's a trope? Yeah, because romance films have meat cutes a lot of the time. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. 2021 Super Bowl host city. Wow, I'm really glad I worked the Super Bowl this year. I, I generally don't watch football, but um, I know that was in Tampa because I was working all day that day. All right. Where we are... Um, let's see, should I take my own advice? and just think of the most generic answer for this. Um, what could it be? Planet Earth? Right here? On the something? Hmm. That's not really working out this time. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do some of these crosses. Prefix for many ocean spray products. That's definitely Cran. They have those cranberry Cocktails like cran raspberry, cran strawberry, that kind of thing. Communist party systems. Hmm. Systems. Uh, I, I don't know if I know what they're asking here. Is it a system within the communist party? Or it's communist party systems. Like in a communist country, what would the party system be? Hmm. Actress Anne with four Emmy nominations. Hmm. An actress with four not Emmy nominations. So that would be television, right? Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm going to come up with that one with just EA here. On. It does start with on. All right, let's take a look at this first. I'm assuming it's gonna be a theme answer here. What a pratfall may be done for. Well, a pratfall is like a comedic um, spill that you take on film usually. So it's gonna be for comedy. So maybe it's, this answer is gonna start with comedic. Hmm. Comedic timing is too short. I do I do like comedic at the beginning though. Oh, and then this. Okay, so yeah, there's a. I guess there was a philosopher named Occam, and he's the one that. I think he has a a phrase called Occam's razor or a. A way of solving a problem and I think it goes the when there's something that has multiple explanations for how it could be possible the simplest answer is usually the correct one I believe that's Occam's razor so that's I believe spelled O-C-C-A-M all right let's see if that helps us out here not really right hmm Where we are, one, I, I almost wonder if it's gonna be asking where we are in the grid. 
It's not one down. This is four down. Hmm. Part of a cabinet. Is this a like a presidential cabinet, maybe? Hmm. Mother to the Titans. This is like really ancient Greek lore, right? Before Zeus and everything. Hmm. Rhyme pays rapper. Uh, I don't think I know this one. That's clever though. Beef Eater and Bombay Sapphire. Well, those are both gins, I think, right? So you put in gins here. Doesn't make it through a lecture, say. I guess if you're not making it through a lecture, you're maybe falling asleep, so that could be nods off. Honorific from Sanskrit. Hmm, I think this might be Shri. I think that's used in, is it India, I think, is an honorific still? Or maybe Southeast Asia? Yeah, so that would make sense. It's sort of in the same part of the world. Okay, oak in a nutshell. Hmm, what is this, what is the word play in this clue? Is it literally a nutshell? Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if this is gonna be rep repeated letter strings in these um, gray sections here, D-I-C, D-I-C. Could that be right? Blank, shoot, a town like Alice, novelist. Ooh, none of this looks familiar to me. So even if it was a C, I wouldn't recognize it. All right, let's move on. Some theater hours, no, some theater honors. So that could be OB's, uh, an OB is Off-Broadway Award. Vassal's Plot of Land. Uh, I think that might be a fief, like a fiefdom. Comedic. Hmm. Effect? It almost looks like it's going to be comedic effect. And then something weird is happening in this gray section here. Hmm. I'm, I'm going to fill in the end of it. And then let's think about what's going on here. Hmm. Is this whole section an equivalent of an E somehow? I guess A, B, C, D, E. Ah, it's not really making a whole lot of sense to me. Hmm. All right, maybe we can get some more information. I do like to see that there's two Fs here. Maybe that makes me confident enough to put the C in here, just on the hunch that this might be repeating letter strings. Okay, maybe we can fill in this corner up here. Overruns. Mm. Hmm. Movie Magnate Marcus. I don't know this, but there's a chain of theaters called Lowe's, so I think putting in Lowe there is a pretty good guess. Marcus Lowe. Entities with pass-through taxation briefly. Okay, so I guess it's gonna be a plural. I think this is LLCs. Yeah, it's kind of like a starter corporation. It's good for if you're just like one person or like a couple of people trying to start a, a company. Woes, that could be ills. Got into the swing, wordplay. I guess it's sat like if you s sit in a swing you get into the swing i suppose that makes sense because on its face this means more of like a figurative thing like you're getting into the groove of something the big easy i think is new orleans right so that's nola a nickname for new orleans 
both of these. Okay, I guess this is infests. And then, can we get this here? YouTube count views, yeah. That's what we're doing right now, isn't it? Okay, this looks very strange. Maybe this is gonna be an E in both directions here. That would be weird though. Why wouldn't it be an E for every square? Hmm. Something strange is, is happening here. Unless this is maybe like a Irish name, like McV or something like that. Hmm. Let's take a look at this this long answer here. Program followed in Alcoholics Anonymous. Okay, so that's usually the 12 steps, right? Hmm. I mean, it looks like it could end in T-E-P-S, like steps, right? But this, I don't know how this makes 12 in any way. These Fs are really throwing me off here. Because at least this... Well, I guess this doesn't necessarily have to be DIC here. I mean, there might be something weird going on. Well, oh man, boy, this is... Okay, okay well, I mean, I know ice tea is a wrapper, right? So maybe we can put that in and maybe that'll help. Oak in a nutshell. Oh, I guess an acorn is an oak in a nutshell, right? It's like the seed of a new acorn, or the seed of a new oak tree is in an acorn. Whew, okay. Boy, this theme is really throwing me off. I wonder if this is going to be just all E's. Um, you just kind of are supposed to imagine the right... Well, that doesn't seem right either, though. Because this is using an E on the way down. Boy, this is really throwing me for a loop. Is it Gaia? Hmm. Blank by golly, wow. 1972 hit by the stylistics. Oh boy, music. That's not going to help. Hmm. All right, can we get this section over here? I don't, it's not gonna do too much help, but we have to get it filled in eventually. California palms. Okay, California is to palms as New England is to, I guess elms, like that's the kind of tree that you have in that area of the country. That's nonsense. Uh, is it pish, like pish tosh? That's, that's not. It's not a great answer there. Sour tasting fruit. Is it, hmm. Is it slow? I think slow is a kind of, um, I think it's a kind of berry of some sort. I know you can make gin out of it. There's something called slow gin. So I think that would make sense that it'd be sour. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in. Hmm. Match before the final. That's gonna be semi, like the semi-final. May Day Celebrant, that'll be Mom's, we're Mother's Day. Is it Poo, like P-O-O-H? Title that translates to Great Sage. Hmm. S-H-I at the end looks pretty good. I feel like I should be able to come up with this. Boy, there really isn't. I'm, I keep hitting walls because of this theme. Oh, maybe we can start trying to build up from here. Its flag displays a curved dagger known as a kunjar. Hmm. I think that's Iran. Is that right? Is that the flag for Iran? I think it might be. Hmm. Oh, filmmaker Efren. Okay, I do know that. That's Nora Efren. Yeah, she's made a lot of classics. Okay. Bedouin. I guess I guess a Bedouin is an Arab. 
Okay. A stooge. The stooge is capitalized, so is it like one of the three stooges? Shouldn't that be Mo? Hmm, maybe it's not Aran. Let's put in Mo. Maybe it's Oman? That still fits. Plank player. Hmm. Proper way to pass. I think that's maybe on the highway. On the left. If you're in the United States, at least. It's different in some other countries. Hmm. Oh, it is. Oh, wow. I should have just had the courage of my con convictions here, where we are on Earth. Yeah. I said something close to that, I think, didn't I? Just gotta listen to myself. Um, boy, yeah, this name is just not looking familiar to me. Hmm. Is it Merle? Hmm. This is looking like 12 steps, isn't it? I guess we could probably put a W here at least. At least, and then... Uh, 12 steps? Mm, boy, this is really, really tough. Okay, part of a cabinet could be a drawer, right? A cabinet that you just store stuff in. It's not a presidential ca cabinet. Anne Mara. Yeah, I've never heard of this person before. Appar apparat. Apparat. I, I feel I've heard the word apparatchik as like a political, like, like a tool, I guess, like a political tool or like a, a loyal political person or something. But yeah, I wonder if it's not iced tea. It it seems like it has to be though. Comedy, com comedy, dick effect. Oh boy, is there a re revealer? Hmm, not that I can see. What a swish misses. I think that's basketball. That'll be the basketball rim. Judge of the Bible. Is that Eli? I know Eli's a name in the Bible. Yeah, let's put that in. So if this was 12, this would be an L? Proof parts? Huh, like a mathematical proof? Yeah, I don't think it could be a different proof. I mean, proof could be alcohol strength, but that doesn't, there, there, would, there wouldn't be a part of a proof, I don't think. Hmm. Can we get anything here? Okay, here we go. Blank player could be a team player. Sing under pressure. So that should be name names, right? Name. And then this will end in aims. Names. Just, we're, I'm so unsure of what's going on here. I don't know if like putting in the the letters going across is the right way to do it, or if if the letters going down are going to be different somehow. Boy, are you guys having as much trouble with this one as I am? This is really boggling me. Something kids often lose. Huh. Is it like mittens or something? Can we get some of this small stuff over here? It holds water. Hmm. 
I mean, there's the figurative sense of holding water, like something makes logical sense. But I feel like this should just be like a jug or something, something that literally holds water. Hmm. Hmm. Props, so to speak. Oh, there's so many meanings of props. It could be like a prop on an airplane. It could be propers, like respect. It could be props, as in like you're propping something up. Oy. Oh, this ambiguous cluing. What is this, a late week puzzle? Question one might ask when looking at a banana taped to the wall. <laughs> Uh, well, there was, what was it, last year I think somebody put a banana taped to a wall up in an art museum? So maybe you could ask, is it art? Um, that's, I guess, would be a legitimate thing to ask. Change in the Middle East, say. Is this asking about money in the Middle East? Maybe that's a dinar? I think that's a currency used in the Middle East somewhere. Maybe Iran? Maybe Oman? Padme Amidala's home planet in Star Wars. Thank goodness the Star Wars clue. Even though I didn't really like the uh, prequels too much. I know it's Naboo. All right, Rockefeller cent Center statue. Okay, that's Atlas, not Charles Atlas. It's the OG Atlas. Orchestra section. Hmm. Reeds, maybe? Yeah, let's put that in. That's the right kind of letters to be at the end of a puzzle, at the edge of a puzzle, rather. Okay, these look good. So let's see, chuck toss. Yeah, that makes sense. You throw something out. Way to go, a road. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I guess this, they stuck all the easy ones down here. I guess they're easy when they're filled in already, right? Bug, okay, that could be irritate. Props, so to speak. Hmm. Antarctica's blank sea. Wow, you know what? I think I know this because there was a... It's Ross, and it's named after, I think, a British um, naval officer who explored the Antarctic. I think he has, like, an ice shelf named after him also. Or the ice shelf is named after the sea, which is named after this officer. Boy, I'm really glad I looked up the Wikipedia article on this guy afterwards. <laughs> well, I think that might help us out. Cowboys QB turned broadcaster. Oh man, it's not Troy Aiken, is it? I think this might be somebody later. My football knowledge ends around like mid 2000s. So I think I might recognize this name if we get some more filled in. Apartment listing info. Wow, yeah, there could be so many things. Rooms, maybe? They may be set aside in a collaboration. Well, it's hopefully that would be egos. Yeah, wasn't there a quarterback named Romo? Is it like Tony Romo? Am I right about that? I feel like I've heard that name before. Like some glasses. Hmm, I mean, it could be eyeglasses or drink glasses. Well, this could be rooms, maybe. The M is there. OG is very weird at the end here, though. Part of Italy where Calabria is found. <laughs> is it the toe? Is it like the toe of the boot? Is that a legit way to describe where something is in Italy? Hmm. I kind of want to put it in. It's kind of funny. Blank McCheese of old fast food fa fame. I guess that's Mayor McCheese. All those creepy characters McDonald's used to have. Um, talk a big game. Hmm, it's not bra it's not brag. It would be it, brags doesn't make sense because it would have to be talks a big game for that to make sense. Hmm, in a jubilant fashion gaily feature of a cr 
Feature of a creature feature, perhaps. Huh. What What's in a creature feature? <laughs> like 3D, maybe? Could be a feature of a creature feature? Hmm. Let go. Hmm. Blank Scamander, protagonist of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Well, good thing I'm a Harry Potter nerd in addition to Star Wars nerd. I know that's Newt Scamander. I, I, I watched the first one of this movie and I was like kind of lukewarm about it. I do like that they're branching out into different like parts of the wizard world. I kind of, I don't know if that one hit for me, but I, I like that they're branching out from the Harry Potter story. I think they could do a lot with like ma the magical world in general. Feature of a creature feature, perhaps? Ugh. Okay. Some. That could be a few. Oh, apartment listing info again. Hmm. Hmm. Is there anything we haven't looked at yet? We haven't looked at this last theme answer. Where magazines may be laid out. Okay, so looks like it's ending in table, probably coffee table. I feel like I'm getting the, the right phrases quickly enough, but it's just this, whatever's happening in this center is just, ooh, really throwing me off. Hmm. Comedic effect coffee why is there so many o's in here oh my god is this gonna be another f benefit is it benefit kids often lose benefit why would it be benefit that doesn't make any sense to me and this i this being an i doesn't make sense no, this should be baby fat, right? When you get older, you lose baby fat. It does almost look like this is gaily. Gore of creature feature? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so I'm gonna put in gaily area. Yeah, for an apartment, you'd, it'd be like 1,200 square feet or something like that. Let go is can. Yeah, if you're firing someone, you're letting them go. Okay. So this is not N A M. It looks like the first letter is what it should be. And then it's kind of like all bets are off after that. So this isn't necessarily going to be an F, right? Okay, blank contender. Contender. I don't know how to spell that, or I don't know how to pronounce it, but I know it's like a lawyer term. And I don't even know what it means, but I think it's nolo contender. I think it means you're like not contesting something, possibly. Goose, you, you can double check me on this. My lawyer knowledge is slim to none. Okay, yeah, talk a big game could be boast. Name man. Is this like, okay, is it like reversing as it goes in? N-A-M-A-N. And then what, repeating again, man? A-M. Oh, it kind of repeats on the way out too, doesn't it? That's not gonna keep happening though. Is that just the coincidence? M-E-D-I-C. I see. Yeah, I think that's just a coincidence on this one. Hmm. Like some glasses. Anti-fog. Oh my god. That's a brutal, brutal clue. That's just like... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's not the first thing you think about when you think about glasses. Ugh. Okay. Foot? Is this foot? 
for some reason? I wanted this to be toe before, right? So is this another foot? Two foot? Oh my god. All right. Oh, finally, finally, it clicks into place here. Okay. So this is foot twice. So that makes feet, right? Coffee table. So if you replaced two foot with one feet, you'd get C-O-F-F-E-E-T-A-B-L-E. -E -E. So you'd get coffee table. Oh boy, was that hard. I don't know why that, I'd be interested to hear, you guys should comment down below if you did this puzzle uh, before you watch the video. I'd be really interested to, to hear how long it took you to catch on to what was happening with the theme. Um, and if it just took me an extraordinarily long time because I'm dense. Um, but yeah, I think it was really hard because like, I, I wanted to fill in, I wanted to continue what I knew was the phrase here and it just threw me off that I had to only concentrate on putting the down answers in here. Okay, so this is gonna be men, right? Cause it's gonna be two man is men. So it'll be N-A-M-E-N-A-M-E-S. Yeah, name names. Okay, so then this should be elf and then elf again. So you have two elves. So that would be elf, elves. So it'd be T-W-E-L-V-E-S-T-E-P-S, -E -E twelves, teps. Oh boy. All right, so I don't, this must be wrong here. Maybe it's Neville. Yeah. And then this is die. So it's like a, a die at like a casino. And then to die are dice, right? So comedic, D-I-C, comedic, E effect. E-F-F-E-C-T. Wow crazy i kind of love it i in spite of myself even though it just was so punishing i'm just super impressed this is like pretty clever it's kind of brutal to solve it but it was kind of fun to have that aha moment um okay so maybe it is gaia and then it's apparats like maybe yeah, I'm not sure what this means. Goose, can you like help us out and define apparatus? It's not, it's not, I don't think it's related to apparatchik like I was saying before. Proof parts. I still don't know what this is. Lembas? Lambas? Hmm. Is it Betcha? By golly, C-H. Hmm. Agency headquartered in Atlanta. I think that's the CDC because I think they tried to go there in the first season of The Walking Dead, right? And they're kind of around Atlanta. Okay. It holds water as a dam. Okay, I didn't think about that holding water, but that also holds water. Prop, so to speak, is credit. Yeah, so that's like respect. Your propers is your proper respect, your credit. Okay, so I guess this is the Maharishi. Weren't the Beatles hanging out with a Maharishi? No, that was the Maharaja, wasn't it? I'm getting my spiritual leaders mixed up. Where's the Mah Maharishi, Goose? Hmm. Okay. Proof parts. I guess it's lemmas? I. I don't, I don't know what that means either. Lemmas. 34. Yeah, that's a kind of a long, t that's a kind of a long time for a, a Thursday puzzle. Um, yeah, what is a lemma? Is that like, just like a section of a proof? Hmm. Interesting. All right. Let me, let me take a little closer look at this puzzle. There's I mean, I gotta say, I think this is a really kind of clever theme. I, I guess I'm a little on the fence about it because it just took me, it was just so hard to see it, but I think I might've just been 
being a little bit dense about it and not really like sitting there and thinking about what was happening. Cause I think I saw elf in here and I was just like, Oh, that's weird. I'm just going to ignore it. Um, yeah. So I think maybe if I, I sat and thought about it, it would have come to me a little quicker. Um, but also there's a little bit of like, eh, like name, like obscure name stuff going on here that made it a little hard. I feel like some of the, some of the cluing was kind of difficult, like, not in a good way, not like a clever way, but just sort of like trivia stuff. But I don't know, in service of a pretty good theme, so I can't be too hard on it. I, I kind of am definitely of two minds about it. So yeah, comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. I think I'm leaning towards liking it, but I'd be interested to hear what you say. All right, thank you so much for sticking with me through that pretty difficult Thursday solve. Coming up tomorrow is going to be the Friday, most likely themeless. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.